What's up, everybody, and welcome in to another edition of the sit down. As always, if you enjoy this video, please make sure you hit the like button and let me know what you think of this live video in the comment section below. If you're new here, you just haven't done it yet, or you're living in a rock and seeing this video for the first time, I don't know what you're waiting for. Hit that subscribe button below now so you never miss another sit down video. If you enjoy cigars, make sure you check out my friends at Pravada Cigar Club. Get monthly deliveries. Of all your favorite types of cigars, Pravada Cigar Club.com. What's up, everybody? We are back with a breaking news video. There has been an indictment that has dropped on members of the Gambino crime family. We will talk through it. We understand what exactly is going on here and who was arrested. The mafia is absolutely still around, and we see that week after week because there have been several indictments over the last year or so with multiple crime families. Let's get into it here and break it down. If you're watching us currently, what's going on? Thank you for being here. If you'd like to give to the channel further, please do me a favor and send in the super chat right now. You can hit the little dollar sign at the bottom of the live chat on the right side of the show. Already 150 people in here. I love to see it. All right, let's get into it, guys. Let's talk a little bit about this bus today. Ten members and associates of the Gambino crime family were arrested, including Kappa Regime, Joe Lanny. Now, we talked about Joe Lanny not long ago. Joseph Lanny was arrested by local police in New Jersey after it was alleged that he attacked the proprietor of a business bar diner, restaurant sort of thing called Roxy's. It was said that he waited out in the parking lot uh, for uh, the proprietor and he uh, did what he had to do. Now, according to that, we'll get into that situation and what happened, but essentially what the document is saying is that uh, certain members of the family were engaged in everything from racketeering to violent extortion to assaults to uh, arson and to union-related crimes. I want to get into... Uh, what exactly they allege that Joseph Lanny uh, did. Um, now, a lot of this has to do with the fact that the Gambino crime family is still very involved with the carding business, which is garbage, as well as demolition industries as well. And we'll get into some of the other people that were pinched as well uh, today. Uh, when it comes to Joseph Lanny, who is 52 years old and is from Staten Island, New York, he, he goes by the name Joe Brooklyn. Uh, I'm going to read uh, some of the charges relating to him. Now, this had to do with um, an assault, as I said, that happened in New Jersey uh, involving that situation at that Roxy's Bar and Grill. Also, at one point in September of 2023, Lanny and a person called Vincent Mascaro, a.k.a. Vinny Slick coordinated an assault on proprietors of a restaurant in New Jersey in Tom's River, including physically assaulting a woman at knife point. In addition, James Jimmy Lafort previously had been convicted of a felony, which included legally possessing a firearm in May of 2023. Now, the defendants also committed a series of crimes to steal and embezzle from unions and employee benefit plans and rigging bigs bids in demolition and carding industry jobs. At one point, multiple defendants provided other defendants with no-show jobs at demolition companies. So one of the defendants, a person called Vito Papa, could receive paychecks and union health benefits, among other things. Now, I also want to discuss one of the extortion conspiracies related to this involving the carding business. Now, according to the indictment, the extortion scheme involved threatening John Doe 1 with a bat and also setting fire to the steps of his residence and attempting to damage his garbage trucks. He also uh, was said that it was alleged that he was violently uh, threatened to be assaulted. In addition, certain in, uh, people involved were captured on judicially authorized wiretaps discussing threats that they made to not only John Doe, but John Doe's father-in-law. On one call, Vito, Ra Vito Rapa stated that another defendant acted like the last of the samurai, describing how one of the defendants picked up a knife and directed John Doe's father-in-law to threaten John Doe in half in order to get John Doe to make extortion payments. 
after John Doe ultimately made a payment of $4,000, two defendants allegedly met and sent another defendant a photo of Vakari raising a small champagne bottle as a toast. Now, Joseph Lanny is a person who, according to the federal government, is a capo regime in the Gambino crime family. And again, we talked about him just a couple of weeks ago. Now, several years ago, certain people said that Joe Lanny might be the boss of the Gambino family. Obviously, that's not true. It was just a stupid rumor. However, um, Joe Lanny is said to know certain higher end people in the family. And I've talked to certain people that said he is not tough. I've talked to certain people that say he is a bit tough, but I have heard throughout Staten Island, he's been running around trying to flaunt his authority to people um, as a member of the mafia, allegedly. Now, I'm just going to say it. Uh, I was approached by someone who claimed they were connected to Joseph uh, Lanny, and he tried to get me to delete a video. Uh, the individual was kind. He asked me, Hey, you know, would you do this for me? Um, it, uh, these guys watch these videos. Yeah, that's something I, I will say. Um, but uh, but yeah, we'll see what goes on here. Uh, this is obviously an interesting indictment. Someone also involved with this was the individual on the right, uh, James Jimmy Lafort. That's his brother Joe on the left. They are the grandsons of Joseph Joe the Cat Lafort. Uh, a lot of people know who Joe the Cat was. Joe the Cat owned the Ravenite Social Club uh, at one point in the building that it was housed in. And uh, yeah, so uh, that's kind of an interesting involvement here in this indictment as well. But you know, this continues to be um, something that the federal government is aligned with stopping uh, as far as um, you know bringing the mob to justice. And I think the goal is what they're trying to achieve is eventually – hit the top people, right? They want a, you know, Lorenzo. They want a, a Cephalo. They want someone like that. Um, but again, you know, I also have seen certain uh, photographs which shows um, Mr. Lanny uh, purchasing a gas can after he threatened to uh, light a business on fire with the individual inside. So um, not exactly a, a smart thing to do, uh, but, um, but yeah, uh, that was involved here as well. Softball mom, how are you? Shout out to you. Uh, shout out to Providence, Rhode Island in the building. I love it. Uh, we've got some beautiful fans of this show. i got to tell you, some beautiful women that come in here on a regular basis. I have to say, we have the most beautiful fans. I mean, think about this, guys. We have not only Softball Mom, but we have Frank Fiordolino as well. I mean, you talk about just attractive individuals. They just keep coming out. Um, shout out to you, Softball Mom. I'm um, glad to have you here. A um, lot of people in here, a lot of commenters, a lot of uh, – opinions uh 360 people in here if you're here hit that like button please uh if you're um enjoying the show please uh, say uh, hello in the chat um the call ac said i just said those two exact names jeff i was thinking the same thing uh in terms of prank and softball bomb. oh okay yeah same here uh wh why did we think the same um all right. Uh, softball mom is very pretty. Yes, she is. Uh, I know it's off topic, but always wondered how long Gotti would have lasted if the killing Paul if his legal troubles didn't happen. Um, your guess is as good as mine, my friend. I have no idea. Um, I would guess a couple of years, but the government really wanted John Gotti, so it wasn't going to be too long. Uh, softball mom says, I love your show. Thank you. I'm a registered nurse. We all watch you at the hospital. Well, shout out to the hospital. Uh, I appreciate that so much. I actually had to go to the dentist today. Well, it wasn't great, but I had to get some things done. Damien McNeil says, hello, Jeff. What's up, Damien McNeil? How are you? Jimmy Richin, $10. Thank you, Jimmy Richin. Thank you for um, thank you for contributing to the show. I'm truly appreciative, guys. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Jeff, you're the best in the business. Provada Cigar Club. There he is. Thank you, Provada Cigar Club. I really appreciate that. Uh, thank you for uh, showing some love. Everybody go check out Provada Cigar Club. Provada Cigar Club, can I share that picture you sent me? Because I'd like to show my people that. Can I Can I share that on the show right now? Guys, I might have something really cool to show you. What's up, Tristan Johnson? Just Larry says, Jeff, you don't call me beautiful like that. Well, I am now. Shout out to you, Just Larry. You're beautiful. Uh, he's an interior decorator. I I don't know what, what's up with the Sopranos quotes. This isn't Sopranos. Uh, Jeff for president 2024. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be running, but uh, maybe. Uh, what's up, Matthew Warrington? Melinda Duncan, how are you? 
Uh, Shefalu and Menina. Yes, that's them. That's them. Um, Deerslayer. What's going on, Deerslayer? How are you, man? If anybody's got any questions, I didn't think I was going to be live tonight, but here we are. Uh, I'm live uh, because we had a high and high level indictment today in the Gambino crime family. So if you have any questions, I'm generally only going to go live for stuff like this going forward. Um, I'm not going live for any other reason. So um, now is the time to ask questions, guys. I'll remain all for a bit of time here. Uh, I can't be, imagine being over 50 and facing jail time. Uh, shaking my head. Yeah. I, to be honest, I'm 34 and really couldn't uh, couldn't do that. So, yeah, I agree with you. Hey, Mustache Pete, how are you? Nice to see you. Uh, Kelly, what's going on, Kel? Chat to you. Uh, Kelly is a friend. Uh, she is um, from a uh, another show that I go on. Uh, shout out to the coach, JB Show. Kelly's good people. Shout out to you, Kel. Good to see you. Looking always beautiful. Uh, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Um, okay, so guys, I want to share something really cool. Now, bear with me a second because I have to uh, get the photo and then I have to email it to myself, uh, and then I will, um, and then I will show you guys. This is actually super exciting, guys. So stand by if you're here. We have almost 400 people in here. If you're here, stay because I want to show you guys something really cool that we have coming. It's going to be very soon, and this is in um, coordination with the great people at. Pravada Cigar Club. Let me show you guys. I, I hope all of you uh, opine on this because I think you're all going to really enjoy it. I should have did this before the show, but that's my uh, bad on not doing that. Bear with me a second. Now, hold on, please. All right. Scent. Let's uh, show you guys. This is all fucking awesome. Uh, this is so cool. I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of this because I've wanted to do this for so long, uh, and I found the great people to do it with. Uh, check this out, guys. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Please, may I introduce you to a sit-down cigar? Yes, we are going to have our own sit-down cigar. How cool is that? How cool is that? How cool is that? From the great people at Pravada Cigar Club. It's not out just yet. However, we're unleashing the beast very soon, just in time for the holiday season. So I hope all of you. Once it's out, I hope all of you opine and grab yourself a sit-down cigar, whether it's for your uh, husband or boyfriend or uncle or grandpa or father. Um, who better? Who better to get them for for Christmas? We have cigars, 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 and they're coming soon to you all. Uh, Godzlika, what's going on, my man? Uh, put a one in the chat if you'd buy one of those uh, or several of those. Uh, maybe we'll sell them in, uh, you know, packages, things like that. Thank you, Shane W. I appreciate that. I'm always on top of things, David Butler. Always on top of things, my brother. Always on top of things. Um, thank you, MJ. Thank you. A uh, new show will be out Saturday. 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 Thank you, John Mark. I appreciate that, my friend. Uh, Francisco Ferdolino would want one. Uh, Michael, what's good? What's good? Oh, look at all the ones. I love it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. If you want cigars, put a one in the chat. Put a one in the chat. Uh, Pravada Cigar Club, do you want to jump on for a second? I I'd love to hear more about the process of this. I can send you the link. Uh, we can hear more about what are these going to cost. Um, this is what we do. A sit-down cigar. Sit-down cigars are coming. Um, Softball Mom says, I would love to send you a Federal Hill sweatshirt. Okay, uh, Softball Mom, do me a favor. Um, send me an email here, please. Um, I love Federal Hill. Shout out to Federal Hill. Uh, send me an email. That's my email. Uh, I'm going to drop you the link, Brian, if you want to join the show. Uh, you can jump on for five minutes and let us know a little bit more about these cigars. We're, we're really excited about these. Uh, only Brian joined. Only Brian. Uh, 440 people in here. Who wants a cigar? Hit the one. Hit a one in the chat if you're going to buy cigars when they're out. Do it. Hit the one. Look at that logo. Look how sweet that looks. Uh, just Larry, by the way, thank you for the $10, my friend. I appreciate you, my buddy. Um, I appreciate you. Yes, Scott M., my man, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. I mean, think everyone's hit the one. Love Pravada Scar Cup. Yes, they're the best. Uh, let's see if um our friend Brian joins us from uh, Pravada. Uh, Pravada. By the way, I... 
I was never, I never realized how like Pavada was. Like a lot of people support Pavada Cigar Club. Uh, if you guys have any mob related questions, you're welcome to drop them in the uh, settle down, C6. Settle down. Uh, yes, it is a great use, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Um, oh, I'm going to find out in just a second, Buddha Vlogs. Bear with me. I'm waiting for Brian to join. Brian's our point man over at the uh, Pravada Cigar Club. So we're, we're going to see. Uh, we uh, we love Pravada, and we uh, hope they can uh, let us know. But, yeah, so Gambino Crime Family, they got some issues to deal with here uh, coming up. We'll see what Joseph Lanny uh, does going forward. Uh, let's bring Brian on and see what he's got to say about the cigar. Hey, Brian, how yeah. are you? I'm great. Up, How man? are you? I'm actually I I do video stuff all day long. Yet I'm nervous. You called me out. And I was like, Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll uh, jump on. <laughs> no I, need to be nervous. How, How are you, you doing, man? brother? I'm do doing well. I'm doing well. You look uh, you look healthy. You look good. How's it going? Thanks. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm excited. I'm excited about your cigar. I love getting together with people that can bring uh, positive things into cigar culture. So it's really cool to be able to do this with you. We absolutely will. Uh, tell us a little bit more about this. Can you do that? Yeah. So uh, the cigar that uh, I think that we both kind of collectively chose was a, um, it's a Dominican cigar. It's made by a guy named Chico Rivas, who's kind of like a gangster of the cigar world. He's someone, I love that. He's, he's someone that, a lot of the he worked for a lot of the big factories, but no one wanted to give him uh, a shot. He, there's also a story that a young cigar maker who sort of screwed him over, kind of maybe, uh, told me where uh, after they had a falling out, he uh, was pulling up next to him. At, he pulled up next to him at a traffic light. And Chico pointed a gun at him. <laughs> so wow. that's, that, that's who we're dealing with. This is with the here. kind of guy we want to be dealing with. This here. is this Shout is this him. is right up our alley here. Okay, yeah. a lot of trouble, <laughs> major trouble. But he's a great guy. He's super passionate about cigars, and like I said, he worked for uh, companies like Quesada, bigger companies that you know kind of never put his name out there. And and that's one of the things that Pravada Cigar Club uh, is famous for, and it's something that I'm proud of. Is uh, allowing people that actually make the products to shine, right? Oftentimes in most industries, you find that the brands, when you dig beneath the surface, they're not necessarily making these products that they're well known for. So we try to focus on the actual people making these craft products because cigars, when done right, take years. And this particular cigar has tobaccos in it that are aged between five and seven years the cigar itself has already been aged two years. So that's also something that I'm well known for is for buying and aging cigars. Most retailers will not do that. I love it. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. It's, you know, you guys are perfect to do this with. Yeah. We get it right in time for, you know, holidays and things of that nature. So um, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it too. So I'm thinking uh, we'll be ready to launch by Thanksgiving. Um, I, those went in the mail. I just want you to see the band on the cigar, smoke it one final time, make sure you love it as well. And, um, and then we can put it out for your people. I think they're going to love it. Um, price point will go, you know, as affordable as we possibly can. Again, it is an aged cigar. It is a craft boutique cigar that, you know, you really can't, once we're done with them, they're gone. So like, we can't make this, ex we could make this exact cigar again, but it would take years to replicate this exact smoking experience. So from here, we'll probably do another limited edition cigar when these are out, but um, they'll be, they should be available through the holidays. I think we have enough to last you know, through Christmas and the new year. That's what we're asking for. So we got some info, guys. This is going to be ready soon. We're looking forward to it. If you get it, just get it because it's a sit-down cigar. I mean, how could you not want to collect it? <laughs> very cool. Items? The band looks great on the cigars, too. I, I love that red and white. No, it does. It looks dope. The logo looks great. Yeah. Uh, and you're a good dude. So Thank you. And again, if we're going to get a cigar, we want... As Frank says, we want our boss to be Chico Riva. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, I love that, yeah. Brian. Uh, check out Brian and the folks at Pravada Cigar Club. They sent so real quick before you go. Let us know. Let let these people know what exactly you do. You send. Yeah. What do you send? So okay, Pravada Cigar Club started as a cigar of the month club, but what we did that was different was we looked for rare, unique cigars 
that you can't get again, okay? So my right. whole thing has been limited edition. I've always been a collector of things and I've always wanted the rarer, harder to find things. Uh, over the last five years, we kind of changed the cigar industry and uh, we're able to focus more on the people that are making the products and tell their story. So when you join Pravada Cigar Club, so you can join the club or you can just buy cigars online. But yep. when you join the club, you get three cigars each month that are rare and unique, limited only to us. They're typically aged two to five years. And each cigar comes with like a playing card. And it tells you the story of the person who made it why they made that exact cigar, how they made it, the tobaccos they use. And then I also give you tasting notes to look for and pairing notes, things to pair them with. And it creates this smoking experience that really revolutionized the cigar industry and has put us on the map. So I go to a cigar spot two times a week and people love their cigars, man. I, uh, I, I, I've really grown to enjoy going there. It, it's, it's a dope kind of, kind of hobby, I feel like, for a lot of people. So I'm glad that you are here to help us with that. And yep. I'm glad you came on to tell us a little bit about what you got going on and a sit down cigar that's coming. It's going to be amazing. And uh, the cigar is tried and true. It's fantastic. If you're, it, it, this isn't just a cigar to, you know, like if you're a real, if t I'm talking to the guys out there that are real cigar connoisseurs, like this is an excellent cigar. This isn't just some, you know, mainstream run of the mill cigar. This that's what we want. Unique. We want the best. So yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, Brian. Thank you for supporting us. And thank My you for, for always being good, good hey, people. Let me say one thing. Thank you for the endless hours of entertainment. Uh, you help keep thank my you. sanity on certain days. And, and I love you for it. And I appreciate you. And that's why I wanted to work with you in the first place. You came to me, Brian. You were a good dude. You, you you told me you enjoyed what we were doing. And uh, that's what I like. That's who I like working with. So yeah, um, appreciate it. Of course. It's my pleasure. Have a great night. And thanks for bringing us this breaking news. I saw you at the dentist. You were like, I got <laughs> your, your I was, passion. You have the same passion for this that I have for cigars. And it's see, for me, Brian, like I want to be, I break a lot of news. So it's like, I want to put this out as fast as I can. And I had someone reach out and it's like, I got to, you know, they're about to call me in to get the cap on my root canal, but I got to do what I got to do. <laughs> so, um, so that's yeah, the perfect. passion. That's the passion yep. of a great content creator. That's what we're Absolutely. looking for. Absolutely. I Thank couldn't agree you. more. Thank you, my friend. All right, my brother. Have a great night. See you, Brian. Bye-bye. Uh, I really am glad he came on. Uh, if you guys want uh, scars or not yet, but if you want to show love, you want to get get aboard, that'll be out soon. I'll let you guys all know when it comes out. Um, yeah, listen, uh, I saw. Do me a favor. Go away. <laughs> listen, man, like the guy loves cigars. He's killing it right now. Those guys are doing a great job. Um, don't hate, go away. Um, other than that, uh, I think I'm going to wrap it up because, uh, I, I don't want to, I don't want to get mean to people. And, uh, sometimes I, I do do that because I don't like some things people say. Uh, I think people are just mean sometimes. Uh, Hey, Steve color. How are you, my buddy? I, I know you like cigars. I'm sure you'll be uh, lining up to grab one. I appreciate that. Joe blogs says, go home and get your fucking cigar box. Yes. Uh, that that's our catchphrase. Maybe. Go home and get your fucking cigar box. Uh, Provada's the best. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they took down Lanny. Um, uh, are you going to tell us the 10 people that got arrested? Just curious. I can. Uh, they are Joseph Lanny, Diego Tantillo, Robert Brook, Salvatore Di Lorenzo, Angelo Gratiloni, a.k.a. Fifi. He is a made member as far as I know. Kyle Johnson, James Jimmy Laforte. Vincent, Vinny Slick, Minscaro, Vito V. Rappa, and Francesco Frank Vicari. There you go. What's up, Michael? What's up, DB boy? Yeah, I should do that, shouldn't I? Uh, what's up, corruption? What's going on? Uh, all right, guys, uh, I am out of here. I just wanted to jump on for a little bit and, and talk to you about some breaking news. I hope you all have a great evening. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. I hope you um, join me on Saturday as I have a brand new video coming out. I believe, I believe it is going to be on the Bonanno crime family, but we'll let you know. Uh, Jeff, I love listening to you and your knowledge. Please don't let other people ruin your mood. No, I don't. I just don't want to get mean to people. I try not to do that anymore. 
And to be honest, I had a long day. I was at the dentist. Uh, Softball mom, send me an email, will you? Uh, like I said, I, I dropped the email. Um, you, you can get in touch and um, we can talk. Um, and if anyone wants to send me an email, that's where you can find me. Uh, I will talk to you all again real soon. Later.